Okay, so sat here with uh, Bye Awad, aka Kid Guard. How are you doing, mate? I'm okay, thank you. AKA Kid G, if that's what I know. Good stuff. So, we're out here in Fort Ventura. Yeah. You tell us how the camp's going and explain like different types of training that you've been doing and how intense it is out here. Um, it's been a very, very good camp, you know. We've had a hard camp. We've been doing track, track training. We've been doing SNC with a guy called Danny Wilson. We've been um, sparring out here. We've been doing pads. We've been doing all sorts of different things out here. But you know, we've um, we've brought Danny Wilson on the on the team, and um, we've changed a few things around. And uh, the things what you're doing, I personally believe, I feel like uh, I'm improving a lot since he's uh, he's brought these things to the table, and uh, I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. Good stuff. So we're out here. Uh, we've been out here around about 20 times now or something like that. Yeah. Um, we're particularly because your stable mate, Cal Brook, yeah. is facing one of the biggest tests of his career against yeah. Triple G on September 10th. A lot of people shocked and having mixed opinions about him stepping up weight. However, you've been training with Cal for over 10 years now. Yeah. So you'll know him better than anyone. So. Were you shocked when it were announced and how do you see it going on no, September 10th? No, no, I've uh, Kel's been on about, he wants to fight a big, big name for a while now, so, you know, to give him a few different names. And GGG was one of the names a while back and he says, oh, if they ever give me that opportunity and the right money, I'd fight him 100%, I think I could beat him. And, uh, you know, Kel, Kel's, uh, he's probably the biggest 147 pound in history. You know, him moving up to middleweight, is is nothing when we went to America and we went sparring but before the Sean Paul fight, everybody actually thought he was a middleweight. No one this is they were like, Oh, you know, you're not a world to weight, you're a middleweight, you're too big to be a world to weight, you know? Mm. And um, on the tenth of September when he gets in the ring, I think a lot of people a lot of people will be shocked when they see the size difference of Calvert when he gets in the ring mm. and um, the way the way he performs on that night. Definitely, so a lot of people have been asking me like how much weight he needs to put on. It's like, in fact, it's coming down to the weight. Isn't yeah, it? you know, Carl Brooks probably he he's a very very big lad, you know, and he he for me personally, I believe he's a natural middleweight. There's there's been loads of fighters who've moved from from welterweight to middleweight. Uh, Sergio Martinez started at welterweight. You know, he never won a world title at welterweight. But he ended up winning the world title at middleweight. Another one, there's, there's, there's a few few big names. Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray Leonard was another one. Mm. He started off at welterweight and ended up winning the title at middleweight. There's, there's been there's been a lot uh, a lot of, a lot of big names. Good stuff. So September tenth is a big day for Cal, but it's also a big day for you as we understand that you'll be at the undercard on, at the O2. Yeah, you know I'll, I'll be on the undercard in the O2. I'm looking forward, you know, to, to fight hopefully a, a, a name, a good name, uh, get a few rounds in and do a demolition job on someone. So if it's a massive opportunity for you to reboot your career and start off where you were in uh, 2014, uh, what is the plan for the next year? Yeah, it's, to be fine on the Calbrook undercard, mm. it's probably, this is probably the, one, of, one of the biggest fights of the year and the uh, Personally, I feel like I feel yeah. honoured to be fighting on such a big, big, uh, big bill, and uh, hopefully within the next year I'll be fighting. I'll be either in line or be fighting for a world title or even being a world champion. I personally believe I could be any one hundred and twenty-two pounder to one hundred twenty-six pound in the world. So, in back back in twenty fourteen, you were you were chasing names like Scott Quigg, Carl Frampton, yeah. and like Rick Andre as well. Are they, are they the kind of same names that you're looking at? Or? Yeah, no, they're, 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 they're the, they're, well, Frampton's the main man now. In the 122 pound division, it's Rugonda, who's the main man. I don't personally believe Scott Quiggs on, on that level, you know. But if they offered me the five with any of them three, I'd take it. We'd take it with both hands. Yeah. And obviously, at the weekend, um, Frampton stepped up to featherweight yeah. and won world title, uh, becoming two way world champion. Yeah. Is that something that's kinda on your radar in Yeah, the that's, that's one of my goals, hopefully, you know, to win a title at Bantamweight 
Superman way, sorry, and the and feather way, and hopefully move up to lightweight. You know, I, I've got the frame, I've got the skill set, and um, it's just in time now. Everyone, everyone's got the time. <laughs> Nice. Oh, good. Oh. Oh. Go oh. 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 Fantastic. So you've been on the, the boxing science program for between 13 and 15 weeks now. Yeah. Um, how's this type of training benefited you? Um, it's benefited me in different ways, in like especially inside the ring, you know, boxing wise, you know, the stuff what we've been working on, you know, the speed of the shots and the and the strength and the power and everything, and the fitness. It's, it's the stuff what we do with the sports science it's very hard to explain unless you unless you do it for a while then you start seeing it all come together and uh, me personally i think it's a it's a big it's a big big uh, benefit so you mentioned you feel that you, you benefit in strength and speed and, and your yeah. fitness as well but what are your favorite parts of the session getting pushed to the limit you know push the limit basically when we in the sports science Everything's about numbers, mm. and you know, people like like the saying. There's a saying: men lie, women lie, but numbers don't lie. And in these, in this training set, in the training session with sports science, everything's about numbers. Mm. They know what you can push yourself to, and they know if you're not pushing yourself to, mm. if you're not pushing yourself. So you have to give it your all in every single session, or they'll they'll know you've been slacking, mm. and they. Um, you can get rid of that fly if you want. <laughs> and uh, you know, the numbers, the numbers, the numbers are the key thing. You know, I'm not beating just other people. You're beating your, you're beating your personal best. You're always trying to improve, and they're always there to help you. Good stuff. So when we're talking about numbers, when you came back into the university, you were very close to reaching your personal best, about despite having two years out. Yeah. So as I stayed in, in such good shape and how you remained focused for well, the long time that you were away from the ring? Um, just, you know, I live, I live inside the gym and um, even though I knew I didn't have a day, I knew I was going to I was gonna fight again and I just self motivated myself, you know. I personally believe this is, I'm born to do, I'm born to be a world champion and this is what I do. And um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people just do, a lot of people box, you know, to stay out of trouble and and like they've got education and they always can fall back on it. I ain't got nothing to fall back on, so I've chosen this lifestyle. So I've got, I ain't got, I I can't be denied. This is all I've got, so I've got to make sure I make something out of it. Yeah, that's fantastic, mate. That's round about it for interview. Yeah. What's the plan for the rest of the day and the last couple of days in Fort Trenchura? Stay um, away from the flies. Stay away from the flies first of all. <laughs> uh, we've got the Danny Wilson's going back tomorrow at SNC coach, so hopefully in the morning we've got a hard run. That'll be the final, final hard session before we go back. And then Saturday morning probably just do a recovery run or go on a bike ride and just chill before we head back, you know and just relax until Monday morning and back in the gym, back at it again. And full steam ahead for uh, September 10. Yeah. Okay,